Kirsten, hello. Hello. Look at your daughter's images. Um, she has craniosynostosis, as we suspected. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about her symptoms? Uh, she cries all the time. I consulted five or six doctors. No one really helped. They said I should let her cry. Shouldn't spoil her. But I was sure something was wrong. She's in a lot of pain. She has craniosynostosis. So what are the options? Well, um, we need to reduce the intracranial um, pressure. We can do that with surgery. Surgery? That sounds really dangerous. My pediatrician said it could be fixed with a helmet. A helmet won't do any good now. Um, every surgery has several risks. Um, we can, um, um, you know, we can do this. I mean, she's, um, uh, you know, we've had surgeries. There's, there's always risks. Um, uh, your daughter's otherwise healthy, so that's good, and that reduces some of those risks. I'm really concerned. What exactly will this surgery involve? Two options. Um, she's six months old, so we can go with a um, minimally invasive procedure. Or we can um, go with tra traditional surgery, the tra traditional approach. My craniofacial team members and I, uh, we make an incision in her head, uh, adjust the sutures, uh, return them to a normal position, and afterwards you shouldn't see any scars or incisions at all. This sounds really difficult. It's a big surgery. It can last up to eight hours. Um, uh, operation involves the expertise of a number of different specialists working together. Um, Jenny has to be in the hospital for three days after. If Jenny has this surgery, do we know that she'll be without pain afterwards? No guarantee that she'll be completely without pain. Some children have some pain. We usually manage it with uh, medication. Um, in some cases, we may have to do the surgery over again, but that's very rare. I'm sorry for so many questions. I just want the best choice for my daughter. After all the bad experiences, I want to be sure. So what about the other procedure, the minimal one? Minimally invasive uh, procedure that's um, endoscopic. We did that on babies uh, younger than uh, six months. Um, uh, surgery takes an hour. She only has to be in the the um, hospital overnight, probably go home the next day, um, uh, has to wear a helmet for six months after that, check on that helmet every three months. Okay. Is the helmet painful? No, it's, it's not painful. Um, it has to be worn consistently though. Uh, after six months, if the uh, growth isn't normal, then we have to do the surgery over again. That's the longer surgery, but that hardly ever happens. This is all overwhelming. Yeah. How do I decide what's best for Jenny? It's a lot to consider. Are you sure she needs surgery? The helmet's not going to work. She needs the surgery. Um, uh, if you wait a month, then the you know, minimal procedure won't be an option. Okay. How can I get more information? Can you suggest any other surgeons I can talk to? You can... Ask your pediatrician about that. This is very stressful. Uh huh. I I want to give you um, some information in a pamphlet about the condition and your treatment options. Thank you.